Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to find the range and interquartile range from a box and whisker plot, also called a box plot. As far as range and interquartile range, the range shows the spread of the data, so the span from the highest value to the lowest value within the data set. The interquartile range shows the spread of the middle 50% of the data. So we are taking a look at the middle 50% of the data and seeing what that range is. Now, as far as our example, we have a box and whisker plot displaying data about hours spent on homework. Let's say that a group of college students were surveyed about the amount of hours they spent on homework last week. That data was collected and then this box plot was created to display that data. Now, I already have all of the parts of the box plot labeled. Let's jump into our example and start with the range. Again, this shows us the spread of the data, the difference between the highest and lowest values. We need to take the maximum and subtract the minimum to find the range. The maximum is 18. So we have 18 minus the minimum, which is 4. The maximum, 18, is right here. The minimum, 4, is right here. 18 minus 4 gives us a range of 14. So the range equals 14. So that's the total spread of the data, the difference between the highest and lowest values. Now let's move on to the interquartile range, which again shows the spread of the middle 50% of the data. So we are disregarding the lower 25% and the upper 25% of the data and looking at the range of the middle 50%. We're going to be looking at the box, the rectangle within the box plot. We find the interquartile range by finding the difference between the third quartile and the first quartile. The third quartile is 16 minus the first quartile, which is 9. The third quartile is right here, and then the first quartile is right here. 16 minus 9 is 7. So the IQR, the interquartile range, is 7. The span, the spread of the middle 50% of the data is 7. So there you have it. There's how to find the range and interquartile range from a box plot. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.